Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah and for today's video, we're going to be doing a tutorial on this makeup look. So I wanted to film my go-to makeup look for really anything, weddings, events, going out, just when I want to do makeup and be glam, but I don't want to do a lot of eyeshadow and I want to do something that really complements my eye shape. So yeah, I thought I would show you this look because I do it all the time and I love it and I've never filmed it before. So yeah, make sure to subscribe down below, give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it, and let's go ahead and get on with the tutorial. So yeah, the towel's making an appearance in the video again, so don't mind that. It will be hopefully not throughout the entire video, but anyway, so we're going to get started. So for this look today, I'm using the Too Faced Natural Matte Eyeshadow Palette, or is it natural? Yeah, it's a natural matte eyeshadow palette. This one I love. It's got a lot of like neutral browns and pinks. So yeah, I really like this one. But the one that I normally use for this type of look, that I love using it, and I use it pretty much every single time that I do my makeup, or every single time that I do this look, is the Carly Bible Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I was gonna use this one today, but I'm pretty sure you can't get this palette anymore. Which, side note, does anyone feel like the Carly Bible and the Jackie Anna palettes, like, left as quick as they came? I feel like they both were not that hyped up, and they both, like, disappeared after a month of being on the site. I don't know, I feel like these, these left really, really fast for Anastasia. I feel like normally their collections or collaborations last forever, so... I don't know it's just something i've noticed but yeah i really love this palette but i didn't want to use something that you couldn't get anymore and one more palette if i want to make this um i like to keep my eyeshadows neutral slash cool tone so if you want to do a warmer version of this look you totally can it's just a technique that i'm showing but you can do this with any color that you like for my skin tone, I like to keep it a little bit more neutral slash cool toned. So yeah, today we went a little bit more neutral, but if I want to take it a little bit more cool toned, I'll use the Dose of Colors Pretty Cool Palette. This is a really nice cool toned palette. Um, yeah, I really like, if I want to go super cool toned, I'll go with this one, but a lot of times I just stick more neutral. But yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. I went ahead and primed my eyes and did my eyebrows. I used the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP Ultra Fine Brow Pencil and Styler in the shade um, Medium Brown. Okay, so the first two shades we're gonna go in with is the shade Less Is More in All Natural. All Natural? I don't know. We're gonna mix these two together. This one's a lot more neutral and this one's a little bit more warm. So I just want to mix these together. And I'm going in with a big fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M531. This is just going to give us a really light wash of this color. It's just kind of going to blow the color out. I don't know how to describe it, but I really like to start out with this brush. So I am taking it a little bit higher. I'm going into my crease, but also above, just to create the illusion that we have more lid space and we have bigger eyes. And we're also taking it up into our eyebrow very lightly once a lot of the color has been um, blended out here and there's not much color left on the brush we're taking it up into our eyebrow okay and now I'm gonna mix less is more in cleavage cleavage is actually like a rosy brown but I'm gonna mix it with that less is more to make it a little bit more of a neutral like brown I just think those colors look really complementary together when I use the Carly Bible one, I really like mixing chai and a Bible, these two together, because this one's warm and this one's more that rosy brown too. So yeah, I really like to mix those two together. And you obviously don't have to use the palettes I showed. You can use any palette you want if you like warm tones. There's a bunch of warm tones palettes. If you like neutral eyeshadows, there's a bunch of those. If you like cool tone, well, there's really not that many cool tone eyeshadow palettes, but... I feel like a lot of people don't like it. I actually really like cool tone eyeshadow palettes. Okay. So now I'm going with a little bit of a smaller brush. 
This eyeshadow look is so easy. And we're just gonna mix less is more in cleavage again. But just keeping it above our crease, but also taking it up just a little bit tighter into the crease. And blending it a little bit more on the outer part. Cause I do wanna add that depth in the outer corner to really make that like cat eye, like almond eye look. But still keeping it above our crease and into the brow bone. It's almost like a little bit of like a spin on that soft glam look, but not quite as like harsh, I guess. And now I'm gonna take it in for five six. It's just a small blender brush. And I'm gonna go into this dark brown right here. Um, it's just like a neutral mid-tone brown. I'm just gonna keep this on the outer part of the eye. I'm kind of going in at a slant, like almost at a diagonal. To again create that like cat eye almond eye look, but still keeping it really blended and soft. And I'm gonna go back in with that M441 with no extra product. Just kind of blend that out. So now we go ahead and apply a little bit of like a lighter shade on the lid, taking it up where we put it into almost like cutting our crease, but with just an eyeshadow, very much like the soft glam technique. I'm mixing this nude goals and heaven. Heaven's a little bit more yellow and nude goals is like pink. So we're just mixing those two together. This really just brightens everything up. Okay, and the next part you can skip if you want, or if you wear um, lashes, you can do a liquid liner, but as you know, and I've said so many times, I don't wear lashes, so I like to use an eyeshadow as my wing. I just think it looks a little bit more soft and natural. So I'm gonna go into this, the deepest brown in the palette right here, and it's called Risky Biz. Um, I'll probably have to do this off camera, but I'll try and get it on camera. I just have to get so close to do it. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara. That look was so easy. That's why it's like my go-to look because it looks just like glam and very flattering, but it's so easy. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some of this Voluminous Lash Paradise, what I have left of it. Okay, I am going to take a little bit of this ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner in the shade... Oh, it's already rubbed off. Um, Call Me. Um, it's just a dark brown. I didn't want to use a black because I just feel like it's a little too harsh. So, okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and get started on the face. So, I'm already applied my skincare. I did my toner, my eye cream, and I put on this Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Protecting broad spectrum SPF 30. Um, yeah, this is my like daily sunscreen under makeup or every just to wear every single day. Um, if I'm doing it before makeup, I do like to put it on quite a bit before just so it doesn't like make my foundation weird or anything. But yeah, so I did apply that. So I'm gonna go in with the Ula Hendrickson Counterbalance Oil Control Hydrator just to moisturize the skin a little. Okay, and then I'm gonna go with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I haven't used this in a little bit, but I do really like this one. I feel like it holds my makeup really well. I've talked about it a lot on my channel. And then for the T-Zone, I know this is a lot. You don't have to use this much, but I just really like to prep the skin and get it ready for everything we're gonna put on. So I like to use the Smashbox Oil and Shine Control Primer. Um, this is one of my favorites too, and I haven't used it in a while either. I've just had so many new primers. I've been trying to try it out. Hey guys, so I'm back. I went ahead and blow dried my hair. So yeah, let's go ahead and move on to foundation. So for foundation, I'm going to mix the L'Oreal um, Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in the shade 400 and the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation in the shade Cloud. So I'm just gonna mix these two together. Okay, 
I would say both of these foundations are more medium buildable. And the L'Oreal one, I'm pretty sure has sunscreen in it. I think it has like SPF 25. For some reason that's looking really dry. I feel like every time I film my makeup never turns out as good as it does when I don't film. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and move on to concealer. So for concealer, I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Cream Concealer in the shade Vanilla. This shade is definitely not a brightening shade on me. It's very close to my skin tone. Um, I need a different shade in this. It's actually a little too dark for me, but it should be fine when we blend it out. I might actually add in just a little bit of this Makeup Forever HD concealer. It's actually a little light for me. So I just want to lighten this up. Just a couple little dots. I'm gonna spray my face a little bit with this Mario Badescu facial spray. So hopefully that helps out with like it looking so dry. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm gonna take my little concealer blending brush and just blend around the eyebrow. It does look really good underneath the eyes though. That NARS one reminds me a lot of my Laura Mercier concealer. They're both like a medium coverage and they have like the same type of finish. Like, I wouldn't say the NARS is radiant. I would say it's more of like a natural finish. It's just not like a solid matte. I'm going to go ahead and use, I remember this time, the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer. This is in the shade Feta Biscuit. And I'm just going to use this Alamar complexion brush. I am going to go ahead and um, set underneath my eyes. I'm just going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to bronzer. So for bronzer, I'm going to use the Jouer palette. This is the Light to Me and Bronzer Duo. I'm just going to go in with this big fluffy brush and just lightly set where we put that cream bronzer. I'm using like super light pressure. I'm gonna go ahead and bake my face. I'm gonna try to use the Laura Mercier one, but I don't have much left, so I might have to use a different powder. I'm just gonna go in with my dry sponge. Pick up some of that powder. 
powder. I'm gonna go with my Anastasia powder just because it's sitting beside me. I don't have enough. I'm struggling to get anything out of that Laura Mercier one. I'm gonna clean up this bronzer. Okay, so I think my camera shut off while I was filming, but all I was saying was that I mix, sometimes I'll do honey dude if I want more of like a lighter and make my eyes look a little bit bigger. Sometimes I'll do a brown, which is what I've done today. So this is Mr. Bing. Um, it's just like a medium tone brown. This one has some red into it. So if you have green, brown, hazel eyes, it's really going to bring out your eye colors and just make them pop a little bit more. But yeah, so I did Mr. Bing and I just mixed um, pretty much all three of these colors on a big fluffy brush and just put that underneath my eye. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and push in this bake real fast. And then I'm just going to brush it off. Okay, so for blush, I'm gonna go in with the, um, honestly, I might mix uh, Flutter and Love. I used this in my last video, I think, by Kylie Cosmetics and Rosie by Kylie Cosmetics. I have to be careful because the pan's trying to fall out. I just really want blushy cheeks today, so I think I'm gonna mix these two together. I'm just going to go ahead and spray up my face a little bit using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I almost said foundation. Um, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with like Whirl. I really need to get a new one. I keep saying that, but I do. Okay, so you can pretty much do whatever lip color you want with this. This look is so neutral and you could really do any look or any color you want. So the two colors I've really been loving to wear lately, um, the one that's in my thumbnail is Honey Love and Brave Mix, which is probably what I'll do today. But I've also been really loving this Huda Beauty Wedding Day. It's just a nice like pink tone nude. Wait, there it is. But I really like to top it with the um, Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. And it's just like a really nice year looks but better with like a hint of like a pinky red. I don't know. It just looks really nice. So first I'm going to go on with Honey Love. I'm just going to dab this shit on. I'm just going to dab on a little bit of Brave. This one's a little bit more pink than Honey Love, so it just gives like a natural little color. Okay, guys, so that is the end of this makeup video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys love this look as much as I do. I think it's very complimentary to every skin tone, every eye shape, and it's just very flattering. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!